Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we want to talk about spinach, okay? Do uh, you want the good news or the bad news first? The good news? Okay, good. The good news is that it's rich in iron and magnesium. I mean, it's off the charts. It's also very high in vitamin A, but it's a pre-vitamin A. has to be converted. Vitamin K, tons of vitamin K. It's, that's for clotting. And if you are bruise easily, you want to consume that. It's, it's loaded with chlorophyll um, and also vitamin C. So it's really good for a lot of different things in the body. Uh, folic acid, B2 and B6, that's for the heart. Um, it's also, uh, can be, it can improve macular degeneration. It supports the eye, probably because of the vitamin A and also because of all the phytonutrients in there. Uh, xanthine and lutein and things like that. Um, okay, it's an anti-inflammatory and the list goes on and on and on and on. Okay, so that's the good news. The bad news, it's loaded with oxalates. And if you're predisposed to kidney stones, um, you gotta just be cautious because oxalates are certain things in the body that will start to pull calcium and combine and create stones. And that can be very painful. Um, but there are certain things that you can do to lower the risk for uh, oxalate stones. Number one, you can steam the um, spinach, but make sure you don't go overboard and cook it too much um, because you just kill everything in it. Okay, so if you steam it, you decrease the nutrition by about 11%. If you fully cook it, like I remember going to an Indian restaurant and they serve this spinach. It's literally been cooking for a long time. There's no nutrition left in that thing. Um, and there's probably no oxalates either, but steaming will lower the oxalate. Uh, lemon, putting lemon on it will also help the, uh, reduce the oxalates. And potassium citrate. Okay, so that's the supplement because the citrates combine and actually inactivate the oxalates. And then there's calcium. Calcium will help reduce the oxalate stones because it combines in your digestive system and it won't let it form in the kidney. I like to get my calcium from cheese and I love cheese. I'm from Wisconsin. And I, just the other day I had some raw milk cheese from the Swiss Alps. Unbelievable. I love that cheese and it's from Trader Joe's. They have some really good, uh, great cheeses. Um, so consuming calcium will also lower your calcium, your calcium oxalate stones. All right. And the, and the last thing I want to mention about spinach is you really uh, have, make sure that it's always organic because if you consume just commercial spinach, a lot of times it's from sources that could have been exposed to, you know, DDT and other chemicals that are banned in America, but they come over from other countries. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.